can allergies be a result of an endocannabinoid deficiency? I think so. It's tough to pinpoint cause on one thing. But, but allergies are an imbalance. So that would that that would track that, you know, the endocannabinoid sure. system, if it's out of balance, it's probably not being properly regulated. So yeah, things are going to start to go haywire. So I always remind people consistency is key, especially when you're dealing with a chronic condition. Do not expect an overnight result when, you know, their endocannabinoid system has been deficient for however long. It takes time to get things working again and get the body back into balance. So the best results are seen from consistent dosages. That doesn't mean, you know, you can't use it as needed for maybe a young dog that has thunderstorm phobia. But for these chronic conditions, daily dosing consistently is key to seeing the best results possible. That's, that's the funny thing is like I never get returns for CBD because that's something I hone in on primarily. you got to give this a chance to work and then you are going to see the results. It's They're going to happen. You just got to give it a little bit of time because like you said, we're all used to Western medicine where it's you just take a pill and it works quickly. That's not how holistic and natural medicine works. You have to work with the body to achieve balance. So as long as you give it time and you dose consistently... You can find that sweet spot really easily, figure out which dose is best for your dog without them being excessively tired or not seeing the results you want. You, you eventually get to that sweet spot, I say, within a month.